Hello, uh, welcome to Mrs. Wheeler Guide. Guides. Um, struggling with the light, so I'm just going to go with it. Hopefully it's not too bad. I do apologise. Right, today I've, well actually, it's not the beer that I was going to review today, but I stumbled across this today in Tesco's, and um, I realised that I'd never actually done one of theirs before. I picked up this. It's a Hook Norton Brewery Double Stout, and I've I've never ever tried a Hook Norton, and um, well, see, may as well start with what I hope is a good one. There's the lid there. It says on the top, progress is measured in pints. <laughs> That's quite cool. Um, Hook Norton Brewery, they're in Oxfordshire. They used to have a steamed run brewery. I, uh, they still have it, I don't think they use it as often as they used to. Um, that's there. Anyway, back to the beer. It's a 4.8%. Um, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to this. I'm going to have to excuse my get up. We're, we're decorating here at the moment. I've been filling walls all day, apart from when I went shopping. Oh, it smells lovely. It smells nice. There's the, uh, the grain on the top there. So yeah, I picked this one up in Tesco's and um, I, I didn't purposely go to buy beer but I've heard that Tesco's range has gotten quite a lot better lately so I thought I'd have a look around and stumbled across this one. So let's give it a pour then. Ooh. Oh, that looks good. Nice and dark. It's quite kind of light to us, I was pouring it. Ooh. It smells kind of quite malty. Um, what am I getting from that? Kind of roasty. Yeah, malty. It smells like a good beer. It does smell like a good beer. So, should I give it a try? As I've said, I've never ever ever had a Hook Norton before. And you can see on the top of the, um, the bottle there, award winning ales. So, let's go. This one's going to make me burp, I think. The first kind of um, statement I'm going to make is that it's bitter. It's quite a bitter one. And then it gives away to the um, kind of roasted flavourings. Um, like a, a chocolate malt kind of flavour to it. I have tried, actually, I've, I've eaten some of the chocolate malts and it's like a massive flavour, it's so strong and you can really, once you know that particular flavour you really pick it up and yeah this is definitely chocolate, that chocolate malt is definitely in here. And it's um... It's so perhaps a little bit sweeter than I thought it would be, but it's not it's not incredibly sweet. Um, I don't know if you can pick that up. No, can't see it at all, but down this side here there seems to be some white white bits in the uh, in the actual beer. I'm not sure what they are. Is it? You'd expect to see that when you, you know, when you've got um, a bottle conditioned beer. 
Ah, yeah. Yes. There, there is natural sediment in there. Phew. <laughs> yeah, so as I was saying, it's quite roasted too. And it's, um, I was a bit being stout. I've had some really strong stouts lately and I was kind of hoping to get that kind of coffee flavour coming through but that isn't in here at all. I think this is a, a bit more of a traditional kind of stout. So it's dark, roasted, chocolate malts, um and a bit of sweetness there but not over not overpowering. It's quite nice. With the, there's so much beer out there, you, you kind of you taste one and you think, oh, I try a stout from a different brewer and you expect it to go along the same lines, but they don't. Every single every every brewery has like their own flavours, their own kind of way of, of creating their own tastes, which it's just so open to you, isn't it? It's it's really good. It never cease to surprise you. It's um it's really easy to drink as well, as you can see. I'm actually picking up that ever so slightly yeasty flavour with it now, as I probably because I've poured out poured it from deeper within the actual bottle there and it does taste ever so slightly yeasty um, and the, that chocolate malt is really really strong coming out there, it's lovely I just noticed it's 7 minutes in already where's the time go? Um, I'll just pour the rest out and then I can redo the bits and pieces is that all going to go in? I created a mess on my counter no idea. Um, yeah, Hook Norton Brewery. So, double stout is brewed to a recipe that is over 100 years old. So, it's definitely the more traditional style. Um, you can enjoy it in bottle condition. Oh, let's just start that bit again. You can you can enjoy it bottle conditioned to enjoy it to taste. Yeah, I didn't actually know that this was bottle conditioned, and and on the when I put it out the second time, you can actually taste it. You know. You get that kind of mouth feel quality, and you know that it's a bottle conditioned ale. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry, pardon me. Oh, that, that was a fight to get my words out before the burp came. Yeah, you can actually taste it. It's, um, yeah, it's definitely there. Um, save for the black malt, which enriches the colour and teases the palate and the brown malt which gives it a pleasant dryness a great accompaniment to dark chocolate cheers and then it says we have been brewing award winning beers since 1849 our traditional Victorian Tower Brewery deep in the Oxfordshire countryside is still ah is still powered by a steam engine there you are awesome our beers contain natural ingredients, malted barley and wheat, hops and yeast, with pure water from our own spring-fed well. And they, they do have a website as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's on here, but it's www. Oh, another one. Excuse me. Hooknortonbrewery.co.uk. So you can go to them. It's quite a nice website too. So um, yeah, a rather enjoyable, enjoyable traditional stout, and yeah, it is really nice. I could easily drink this one myself. Anyway, this is me sniffing. How terrible! That's enough for me then. Um, go on to um, please comment. Leave your comments for me. If you'd like to subscribe, subscribe. Um, check me out on Facebook or Twitter. You should be able to find me. Cheers everyone. See you again soon. Bye.